Hola amigos, I am here to do another long awaited and highly requested video of my tattoos. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this a tattoo tour. Right now I have a total of 10 different pieces all over my body, they range from head to leg. All right, so I am going to go ahead and give you meanings if there are meanings behind my tattoos as well as close-ups of each of my tattoos. Again, I am one to not judge people on their tattoos, reasons why they get tattoos. If you want to get initials of your boyfriend or girlfriend that you've been dating for a week on your finger, your ring finger, be my guest. I am not one to judge. So please do the same to me. I got my tattoos because I got my tattoos. I honestly do not regret any of them. So yes. All right, so let's get right into it. So my first tattoo actually, is it's a funny story because my first tattoo was because my tongue was too short to pierce. So I went to three different places in Vallejo. Yes, I was in California at the time for summer and I wanted to get my tongue pierced, but upon going to three different parlors, they said that my tongue was too short to pierce. Ultimately, it was because of this thing. That hung. Apparently they would need to cut it or something for me to get my tongue pierced and so I was at DV8 tattoos at the time and I was like you know what I'm here I might as well get a tattoo so I've been wanting to get this bow tattoo that was super cute that I saw I forgot where who was the inspiration but pretty sure there are tons of bow tattoos out there so I got it on the back of my neck it took about four hours four and a half hours almost five hours to get it done he did an amazing job it doesn't necessarily have a meaning. It's purple and pink, really girly. Uh, ultimately, I mean, ultimately, pretty much sums me up, right? I mean, let's be real. <laughs> my second tattoo is actually my Hello Kitty tramp stamp. And yes, I call it a tramp stamp because oh, that's what it is. That's what it is. Honestly, I think that this was overpriced for the piece itself. I believe it was about a hundred dollars plus for just like a little outline i got it done at enemy tattoo in everett washington yeah it was it's just super overpriced and it was just a really really it honestly didn't even take like 10 minutes so it is for the price a lot of shops have minimums by the way i'll go ahead and link down my tattoo uh i guess facts um before i got my side piece done i went ahead and did a tattoo facts my third tattoo is actually the three stars on my wrist. If you are Filipino and have the basic sun with the three stars around it tattooed somewhere on your body, hey, cool. But I decided to go ahead and tattoo them on my wrist. Uh, each of them are about, I want to say quarter, they're about quarter size. And I will say that this tattoo is the one that hurts the most. They said generally when it's near your hands and your feet, it tends to hurt more because <laughs> tends to hurt more because your hands and feet are more sensitive and there's less uh, less muscle or something like that. And so upon the close up you can see that I, you know, some of the lines are not as straight because I would jerk and uh, it was really, really the most painful tattoo ever. I actually got it done at Painless Steel Tattoo in Everett and they are actually a really, really good place. Very, very clean. Yeah, a lot of my tattoo places I've actually done Yelp reviews, so go ahead and see the link down below for all my Yelp reviews and all the tattoo places I got it done at. My fourth tattoo are actually my two stars that I actually got inspired by a girl that I used to follow on Flickr. And I think her name's like China Doll something. And I kid you not, hers are actually on her shoulders, like right here. I got mine done on my, uh, right underneath my collarbone. And it, it did not hurt at all. I absolutely love the tattoos. I remember I first got them and I didn't want to tell my parents, but then they ended up seeing it anyways and they didn't really say anything. A lot of people ask me if it's actually fake only because of, uh, it doesn't have an outline. It's more like a watercolor color. I've, I've been meaning to get it retouched. So the reason I got two stars on here is because if you guys know me, you guys know my whole thing with multiples of five. So I have three stars on my wrist. So plus two on my shoulder or my, sorry, my chest or is this chest? What is this? Underneath my collarbone. So then that makes five. I just had to be even somehow. Oh, and I also, I got my two stars done at Theory Tattoo in Everett as well. And they are actually a really awesome place. Again, my Yelp review is down below. I also got my belly pierced there for the third time. I, as you guys know, I've had my belly pierced three times because of accidents and stuff. So 
yeah, that's a whole nother story. My fifth tattoo was actually a rib tattoo. I actually didn't want it to be a rib tattoo. I wanted it to be like a stomach tattoo. And I saw the actual picture or the inspiration behind it. And my tattoo artist actually made it into something else that was more like not a photocopy of it, which a lot of artists, when you tell them that this is a tattoo I want, they'll go ahead and make it your own because the last thing a tattoo artist wants to do is just put something cookie cutter on your skin because it's there forever and at least have a little bit of individuality, you know? And so he said that, you know, if I'm planning to have kids, which right now, no, but if I were ever to have kids and I have a tattoo on my stomach and, you know, stretch marks could ruin it possibly and all this stuff. So then he kept moving it up and moving it up and lo and behold, it was my first rib tattoo. And I was absolutely frightened because everyone talks about how the rib tattoo hurts the most because it's like the bones are there and, you know, it's really sensitive there. You're ticklish and all this stuff. But Honestly, it wasn't bad. I will say my wrist tattoo hurt way more. So I actually got that done at Theory Tattoo as well. My sixth tattoo is actually my parents' birthdays in Roman numerals. I know, hashtag basic bitch. Uh, I got both of my parents' birthdays done in Roman numerals and I actually went to a place in Vallejo called Hot Ink Tattoo. A girl did it and she messed up on it on one of the little like, uh, lettering thing like you can tell that she like laid the needle in a little bit longer than she should have because the actual thing is like almost like bubbled up yeah yeah i don't know whatever my seventh tattoo is actually the tattoo that's right behind my ear it is the heart with the infinity mixed in my cousins made fun of it and said that it looked like a fox which it sort of does it sort of does i got it a matching tattoo with my lovely cousin marion and she has the same exact thing behind her ear. This took probably not even like 30 seconds because it's honestly just a heart with an outline. Not bad. My eighth tattoo is actually my Scorpio tattoo. It is the symbol for Scorpio. So it's the M with the little tail on it. I actually got that done at Blue Geisha Tattoo in Seattle. I got it done the same time that Melissa got her rib tattoo done. She got the almost, it looks like almost like my love tattoo, but hers says family on her ribs. So she's a trooper for that. So we got that done while I was in Seattle for the weekend. And then we also got Hannah done the same day. So it was pretty cool. I am a Scorpio. My birthday is November 4th, hence my tattoo. Hashtag basic bitch tattoos. Yeah, I know. I know. My ninth tattoo was actually my script tattoo. So the story with this is that I was supposed to get my hair blonde. So before I went blonde, I actually missed my appointment because some things came up. So May and I actually headed to where DV8 tattoo was, where I got my very first tattoo because I was like, oh, I've been wanting to get this script tattoo done. And so when I got there, I met up with Chalk from Ghost Town Body Art. And apparently, you know, they bought out DV8, I don't know when, but I'm so glad I actually walked into there. He was, he, I didn't know, even know he was the owner, to be honest. He was hella chill. And I told him what I wanted. And the script tattoo is, he, it's, oh my gosh, it's like so feminist, but I absolutely love it. I am in love with that. This is my favorite tattoo by far because it actually is the truth. Um, it is pretty much a quote that says he offered her the world but she said she had her own <laughs> need I say more I mean come on I know that I a couple of people have pointed it out to me like oh my god your tattoo is so cute every time I every time a guy's like what does your tattoo say and I'm just like oh god wait for it wait for it and I show it to them they're like wow much wow <laughs> and then my last tattoo was actually done by chalk because I honestly, like, I don't even think I will be able to get a tattoo done ever by anybody else just because Chalk is, like, amazing from Ghost Town Body Art in Vallejo, California. They've actually moved, so they, they moved from one shop in Vallejo to another shop in Vallejo. Absolutely amazing. I will go ahead and link down when I did get my thigh tattoo, which was my last tattoo that I'm talking about here now. So I found this picture and I screenshotted it and I gave it to Chalk and Chalk actually uh, took it into my own and absolutely love it. The heart, it's an anatomically correct heart with daisies coming out of it because daisies are what the flower that's in my mom's bouquet. So yeah. 
So those are 10 of my tattoos. I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos by me, go ahead and click that red subscribe button. It would totally make my day, and I will see you guys later.